Hello guys, happy Tuesday. Let's say good morning and do some circle time. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. All right, so last week when we looked at the weather, there was rainy and windy and sunny and cloudy. And this week, let's see what there is. Hands out. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? And I think this week it's just supposed to be cloudy and sunny. So we're going to do cloudy first. So over here, our big clouds, we can do little ones, medium ones, or big ones. I'm going to do a little bitty cloud today. It's a cloudy day. It's a cloudy day. God made the clouds and the sky today. It's a cloudy day. And then sunny. Get out a great big sun. It's a sunny day. It's a sunny day. God made the sun in the sky today. It's a sunny day. Awesome job. And then when we look over at our calendar, last week we counted from 12 to 18 on our flowers. This week we're gonna go from 19 to 25 because we're almost done with the month. But first we're gonna see what day of the week we're on. Today is t -t Tuesday, Tuesday. And how many days do we have in our week? Seven, five on one hand, two on the other. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Awesome job. And then our month is still April. Our month is still April, but we're almost done. After this week, we're only gonna have five more days and then we're done with April. All right, and how many months do we have in our year? We have 12 months all the way up. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. There are 12 months in a year. And what is the number for our great big year? That's right, it's 2020. Awesome job, guys. Now let's go back over here and we're gonna do our counting. We're gonna count all the way to the number 25 because that's gonna be Saturday's number. Can you help me? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Awesome job, guys. All right. Now that we're done with that little bit of circle time, I have a caterpillar update for y'all. So our caterpillars were teeny, teeny, tiny the last time I talked to you. And today, they are so big. I don't know if you can see them hanging in there. But there are four caterpillars on top and there is one caterpillar down at the bottom in his cocoon. And he is down at the bottom because one of his big friends up here, trying not to move him around too much, but this little guy is shaking around because he is building his cocoon right now. So I'm gonna put them back on the ground. But one of our little guys is on the ground in his chrysalis because one of his bigger friends said he needed more room at the top. So we knocked him to the bottom, but that's okay because when they're all done building their chrysalises, their little shells to protect them and turn into butterflies, I'm going to move all of them into their little butterfly net. And I just got our butterfly net in. It's in this fun little package. And I will open that up and I will show you that later. Um, very, very cool. So we're gonna read a book together. And I have a big book about butterflies so that we know what's happening right now because it looks a little weird that they're hanging from the top of their cup, but we're gonna know why. All right, this book is called A Butterfly is Born. Butterflies are beautiful insects. Can you see all of them? 
They fly from flower to flower, drinking nectar with their long tongues. I'm gonna get that picture a little closer for you guys. Do you see their long tongues drinking out of the flowers? But a butterfly doesn't always look like this. A butterfly begins his life as a tiny egg. Do you see the teeny tiny eggs? These look big, but they're so small. The egg hatches in a few days and out comes a caterpillar. Do you see the teeny baby caterpillar? The young caterpillar is very hungry. It eats its eggshell. And then it starts to eat leaves. It eats many, many leaves. The caterpillar eats and grows and eats and grows. Look at how big this caterpillar has grown. Do you see that? Now the caterpillar is ready to change and it hangs from a branch. So just like our caterpillars are hanging from the top of their cup that they're in, caterpillars outside would hang off of a branch or off of a flower pot or a bench, something that they can hold on to and curl up just like this to get ready to make their chrysalis. Slowly, the caterpillar turns into a pupa. And that is the caterpillar making its chrysalis. It's also called a pupa. And it forms a hard shell. So our one caterpillar that's on the bottom of the cup, he has already made this shell. And the one caterpillar that was wiggling around, he was working on making this hard shell to protect him. And the rest of them will do that soon. From the outside, the pupa looks very still, but inside much is going on. Can you see what is happening to the pupa? I'm gonna get a little closer. So this first picture, you can kind of see the colors that are going on in there. What colors are in there? Orange and black and white. And the next picture gets really easy to see. Do you see the butterfly's wings in that cocoon? After some time, it comes out as a butterfly. Look at that. It's coming out. The butterfly's wings are wet and crumpled, but in a few hours they dry and fill out. So it needs to flap its wings around and let them dry out a little bit so that it's ready. And now the butterfly's wings are strong. The butterfly can fly. Look at that. And way over here was its chrysalis that it came out of. Can you believe that big, huge butterfly came out of that little bitty chrysalis? That's pretty cool. Where do you think that the butterfly is going? Do you think it might be going to your house or to the school? Or maybe it's just going to find a garden with lots and lots of flowers to drink nectar from. I think so too. All right. Thank you so much, friends. I love you. Stay safe.